Well, it's our first chance of the year to go kind of uh, behind the scenes, all access, if you will, with head coach Cam Newbauer of Belmont Women's Basketball. And uh, Cam, reflecting back on last season, man, just some remarkable things. I mean, 16 of 17 uh, OVC wins down that stretch. About a year ago, December, you probably weren't thinking in those kind of terms, were you? Sure wasn't. It was a fun year. Anytime you start eight and one, lose six in a row, and then go on a tear to finish the season with a very young team, uh, an experienced team, and then to handle the adversity of, of, of a regular season with the ups and downs is always a lot to handle uh, for a veteran team, let alone an experienced team. And so for us to handle the ups and downs, the roller coaster season we had, and to finish on the up and up the way we did was just a, a fun experience and a, a great opportunity for all of us just to do something special here at Belmont and couldn't be more proud of what we did last year. If a first glance at that season, you know, you might say, well, here's a streak, a good streak, and then not so good streak, and then a good streak. But that's six in a row, and I know coaches don't want to make excuses, but those were solid quality opponents, and in virtually every one of those games, I mean, the Bruins were in those things. That could have easily been the other way as, as easily as six losses in a row. Yeah, it was one of those – things where we're one possession away in any of those games from the tide turn into our the momentum going towards us and it just didn't and for a young team it was good for us to go through those growing pains that we had there and we needed those things had, had we not had those moments in those games to where we got to learn from our failures I don't think we would have been able to have the success at the end of the year that we had so we are thankful for the, the tough stretch that we had in, in those many road games and we look back now and, and kind of laugh about those and, and remember how tough it was, but really appreciate how much better it made us for the end of the year. And of course, the team is just now getting back to campus uh, not long ago, and I don't know how much opportunity there's been for interaction to reflect on some of those things, but even that the tournament game, um, a game that you take away the first couple of minutes of that fourth quarter, and the Bruins are neck and neck uh, with, with a high quality opponent, Makes you wonder how the what the what the mindset is going into the new season. Yeah, anytime you finish the way we did and to compete at such a high level in the NCAA tournament versus a top 15 team in the country, you've got to be excited about the next year. And with us returning so many players, our our team is excited about what this year holds. They're excited for a new journey. I think we all understand that 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 chapter is closed and it's time to open a new chapter and kind of start from scratch bringing along the experiences of last season into this year and just seeing where we're going to go, what we're going to do. And there is a, a really neat sense of excitement and anxiousness about our, our squad with getting back together, working out, um, putting in time in the weight room, conditioning, and just gearing up for another go-round and seeing what can happen this year. Another thing that happens when you have a great season like that and, and really putting together a couple of pretty strong seasons in a row is your – staff of assistant coaches starts getting picked over. They start looking really attractive to other schools. And, and boy, you couldn't be happier for Carly Coons, who got to go back to her alma mater as the head coach at Valdosta State. But uh, that leaves a hole on the staff. But, but talk a little bit, before we open that hole, talk a little bit about Carly's contributions during yeah, her time yeah. at Belmont. Carly's been here six years. Last year was her, her sixth full season at Belmont. And really played a huge part with the development of our culture here with the women's basketball program off the court on the court the recruiting the x and o's the day-to-day -day operations and really became one one within herself that was ready to be a head coach and could not be more excited more proud of her to have the opportunity to go to your alma mater where you are a hall of famer uh, her she's husband yeah she's a legend there legends coming home right. and her her husband played there as well and so just a, a great opportunity for her uh, she was ready to be a head coach. Um, she's has been missed sorely here and will continue to be missed. Um, but she did a lot of great things for our program in a number of aspects that will continue to carry on. Um, so we couldn't be more grateful for having her as, as part of Belmont for six years. And selfishly, my first three years, couldn't ask for any more, anything more out of Carly and just so excited for her and, and wish her the best in her first season. But then that responsibility falls on you, that when, when, a, when an assistant – goes and has an opportunity like that, then you do have that hole that you have to fill. So there's a couple of new faces on the staff this year. Yeah, we've hired Jamie Givens and Amy Malo, and both are very 
two hardworking, up-and-coming coaches in the business who I think have bright futures ahead of them. Uh, great personalities, very warm, caring, uh, energetic. Um, and I think there's shoes that need to be filled, um, and I think we've filled those shoes with, with the right people. And I'm anxious to see the fixtures they become in our program with our team and just to see how they mesh with us, but also what new um, – what new ideas they bring to us. It's always great to bring in a fresh perspective to your program with outside um, visions of, of what they've seen your program from the outside, as well as the thoughts and ideas and creativity that they bring to recruiting and also your team on the court uh, as an outside view. So it, it's exciting time for us starting a new, mentioned that chapter being closed, but now we're starting a new chapter with some new fresh faces and, and coaches and, and just really anxious to get going. Fresh faces. One of the things that you have done here is uh, you've built a team that that goes deep. This is not one of those teams that you've got two or three or four good players, and then you know there's a, a huge drop off in quality. This team is deep. You have a lot of options, small, big. Uh, what are your thoughts going into the new season this year? Yeah, you know, I, I love it, Rich. I love it. We we have a motto on our team, and we talk about we over me. And if you look at last season, we had nine different players scoring double figures. We had seven different leading scorers at one point during the year. And we've got a chunk of our team back. We add Mara Minsterman, who sat out as a transfer last year from Indiana University. We add Maddie Wright as a freshman from Boyd Buchanan in Chattanooga. Um, and then the rest is back. Uh, Anna, Hannah Harmeyer is joining our squad. She had to sit out last year as a transfer as well. So you talk about those three players plus – um, everybody will, that we that we brought back, and you know we like the versatility we have as a team in terms of no two players are the same. So when you sub somebody off the bench, a lot of teams like to bring energy. Well, we like to bring energy and a different dynamic to how we play, and it's going to be fun as the season plays out. Seeing what's our style going to be, what's our what are, how are we going to play? And, and being able to have those different options throughout the course of the year is going to help us morph and become hopefully a, a championship caliber team. And that's what's fun about the preseason is watching who we become with the many trials that we have during the preseason and um, starting new with a lot of fresh, a lot of, a lot of the same faces, but yet just the makeup of our team and the minutes and all that as that comes to fruition, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. At the risk of singling one player out, you mentioned Mara Minsterman. Um, I, I single her out because I hear her name raised a lot by her teammates as they have watched her during that season of, you know, of transferred, getting back to being eligible and so forth. But her practice effort and so forth last season, talk a little bit about Mara and what she's going to bring to the team. It's always interesting when you've got a player that is sitting out as a transfer. They, they have the ability to play with uh, – freedom unlike any other because there's no consequences to practice where it doesn't matter how many mistakes they can't play in a game anyway so they just have this comfort level where anything goes they're okay with it and Mara did a terrific job uh, on scout team last year she was <coughs> excuse me typically the team's best score that we were playing against and so she got to shoot the ball a lot and, and put up crazy numbers against us and um, just seeing her scoring ability her scoring that come out we hope that she can play with that same sort of freedom um, and I, I'm sure some of that comes from me with what I'm saying to her during practice. So hopefully that comfort level, we can find that for her again because I do believe she can bring a dynamic to our team that, that's a little different from, from what we have. Um, and also just the leadership. This is basically her third year of college basketball. So just providing more leadership, more size, more energy, and just uh, something different than what we have on a team is exciting for us to look forward to. Might not be the expected response when you talk to players – about last season, how many times players talked about Rio? <laughs> they talked about the bonding experience of, of doing a mission trip. And this is a team that is huge on service and on serving the community, but, but even serving in a place like Rio. Yeah, that, that trip, it touched a lot of us in a number of different ways, uh, spiritually, emotionally, and just really built a bond not just with our team, but with the people of Rio. And, and when we watched the Olympics, you heard us all saying and, and, and texting each other, and, man, it feels like we were there yesterday and we want to go back. And just looking at the pictures and the moments we shared and serving people over there that, that, um, that need it. 
and reaching out to children, spending time with them, watching what that's done for our players uh, with, with four of them in, in our program giving their life to Christ last year with three baptisms the last two years, with uh, a couple of them taking mission trips again this past summer after Rio, uh, the FCA leadership that's emerged from our team with some of these huddle coaches that our players have become. It's been really neat to see the growth from a mission trip do so much for our team off the court and to see the confidence level of our players come out with being able to share their faith and, and, and talk about their where their confidence comes from. And, you know, I, I thought it was great when uh, the synchronized diving team from Purdue, when those guys won the silver medal and they professed their faith and, it was awesome seeing our players get so excited from seeing them do that on such a such a high platform and then to do it in Rio. So I couldn't be more blessed and fortunate to share an opportunity like that with our team. But it's been really great to see the fruits of those labors continue to, to show up, you know, a year plus after that trip. And we are we're, we're we've got a trip planned to go back next year. Um, next August, it will not be a, a basketball trip. It's just going to be a mission trip. For, for members of our program, and we're very excited about that to go back and, and to see some of those same children a couple of years older and reach out and bless them with with our time and, and love. It's amazing. You, you may do something like that that has nothing to do with basketball, but it translates to something on the basketball court. Yeah, it really does. And it really does. can't can't speak or explain it um, until you've experienced it. And, and just grateful and excited to hopefully do it again next summer. Be a, be a lot of fun. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Dr. Tyner. Cam Neubauer, the head coach of the Belmont Bruins women's basketball team. Thanks a lot for watching.